Okay, today we are starting here new point of this chapter that is the stereoisomerism in the four coordination complex. So this is the new point which is given here stereoisomerism in the four coordination complex. So there are two possible arrangements which are the given there here in case of the four coordination compounds. Uh, that is the one is a tetrahedral uh, and another which is a square planar. Tetrahedral which always we are indicating by the letter capital T and small d in square bracket while in case of the square bracket we are indicating in short that is in square bracket esq dot pl dot that means square planar so complex which is having both geometry which are the present in case of the four coordination compounds so exact structure of the four coordination compounds which, which are the completely explained we can observe here in the x-ray diffraction technology so we can compare these uh, number of the isomers by using this x-ray diffraction technology uh, for uh, for the complex there are number of the types of the complexes which are the given there in square bracket m a4 that means metal which is uh, surrounded by the four ligands uh, these are the similar type of the ligands which are the present there second one in square bracket m that is a metal a similar type of the a ligands and b that is another ligand that means in this uh, uh, complex there are two type of the ligands and uh, uh, next one that is also <coughs> similar to the second one that is a in square bracket capital m a small b 3 so that means there are two type of the ligands which are the present in the third one uh, structure or stir one complex which also where a and b these are the different uh, ligands which are the given there so that's why there is no stereoisomer which is a possible in the every arrangement of the all these three structures because these are the exactly equivalent and regardless of the their geometry now let's we check here uh, stereoisomerism in the four coordination compound stereoisomerism in the four coordination compounds which is given there that is a tetrahedral uh, complex which is a given there tetrahedral complex i think all of you know what is the tetrahedral complex what is the shape of the tetrahedral complex so all these things i think all of you know uh, very well so this geometrical isomerism which is uh, arises in the tetrahedral complex all positions which are the equivalent in the tetrahedral complex so that's why we can't be determined here that is the uh, uh, there is a cis or trans form we can't be identified tetrahedral complex which is a uh, square planar a tetrahedral complex which is a uh, which is having uh, we can't be determined here geometrical isomerism that means cis and trans we can we can't be easily determined here tetrahedral complex in tetrahedral complex that means we can't be identify cis and trans form that means geometrical isomerism which is not possible in the tetrahedral complex geometrical isomerism means cis and trans cis means same type of the ligands on the similar side trans means similar type of the ligands these are on the opposite side but that is not happen in case of the tetrahedral complex why because in tetrahedral complex uh, all positions which are the continuously changes these are not in the fixed position so that's why we can't be determined here tetrahedral structure there geometrical isomerism so that's why there is a one important thing which is given there uh, which does not show geometrical isomerism in this case now let's come to the next one in geometrical isomerism that is the optical isomerism in the last lecture we are seen there geometrical isomerism and optical isomerism geometrical means cis and trans isomerism and optical isomerism that means dextro and leo rotatory so these are the stereo isomerisms we were checking here in case of the four coordination compounds so in that first one point where is in there in case of the tetrahedral complex these are can't be shown there geometrical isomerism second that is the optical isomerism optical isomerism which is also not existed in the tetrahedral complex also why because uh, they are ligands they are um, d form and l form obviously optical isomerism that means presence of the d form that means dextroform and l means 
leoform. So this dextro and leoform, which can't be separated out, that means which is a difficult to the isolate these D and EL form from the mixture. So only few cases we can be uh, distinguish this D and EL form. So there are some examples which are given there. So uh, there is a M A B C D type of the tetralog complex which could be given separate D and EL isomers. That means if all ligands which are the attached to the central metal in case of the tetrahedral complex then we can easily separate out D form and EL form. In a tetrahedral complex already I told you all of you is that geometrical isomer which is not possible here for an example this is the one of the example which is given there. So in this example this is the shape of the tetrahedral this is a tetrahedral shape. Tetrahedral shape you can observe here there is the one center which is a metal and across of this central metal which is having four different ligands which are the surrounded there. So that's why there is a uh, optical isomerism which is possible here but there is no geometrical isomerism. Geometrical isomerism that means there is a possible of the cis on transform. Yeah, no, there is no possibility of the cis and transform. There is a only one isomerism which is a possible there that is a optical isomerism. How there is a presence of the optical isomerism? Let's we check here. All ligands which are the surrounded to the center metal, these are the different. So that's why there is a possibility of the optical isomerism. That means we can easily separate out D form and L form from the given mixture. So if this is the D form, obviously if we are placing there one mirror, then there is a mirror image we can get there. So this is a mirror image which is a given there. Uh, CH2 C2H5 which is a near to mirror also at the near to mirror that is a C2H5 at the center is a metal uh, arsenic which is a metal which is given there uh, sulfur which is a ligand which is a present here so there is a reflection which we are getting there CS3 opposite to the mirror so there is a CS3 which is a opposite to the mirror uh, C6H4COO uh, at the bottom of the uh, structure there is also C6H4COO at the bottom of the structure so these are the mirror images of the each other if there is a this is the D form obviously at the mirror there is an opposite mirror we are getting there and which is the L form if this is a L form then in mirror we can get their D form D form that means if you are passing plane polarized from the given sample light rotate clockwise direction then that is the D form while in case of the Leo form if we are passing light from the given sample if light rotate anti-clockwise direction if light rotate anti-clockwise direction then that is a Leo form okay dextro form which also indicated by the letter plus uh, uh, we can use their sign that is a plus and Leo rotatory we can use their sign that is a minus so both of these structures these are the shows optical isomerism this is only exceptional cases okay that means not all uh, uh, not all tetrahedral structures which shows geometry uh, optical isomerism only exceptional cases that means if all ligands these are the different only in this case there is a optically active structures which are the present there that means this shows optical isomerism if similar ligands which are the present across of this uh, central metal then we are not possible to distinguish given which is the optically active or inactive okay there is also one uh, structure which is given there tetrahedral complex which contain asymmetrical bidentate ligands which are the result into the d and el form okay so this is the one of the also example which is given there optical isomerism which is present there already i told you how there is optical isomerism if this is a D form then mirror then there is a reflection that is a L form. So that is about the reflection which is get there. So this is the figure which given there optical isomerism of the base benzyl acetonate uh, beryllium. So this is the structure which is given there and there is a mirror image which is taken there. From the above complex there is no center of the symmetry which is present there. Center of symmetry means if we are passing uh, plane uh, if we are passing the uh, axis from the center for an example if I am using their 
one axis is the center right is the center so at the center if i am passing their axis this is the axis i am passing there and at another side axis so if we are passing axis from the center if equal groups which are the present at the equal distance then that is axis of symmetry so in this structure is there axis of the symmetry no why because at the one end there is a cs3 at another end there is a c6h5 that means different group at equal distance different group at equal distance so that's why there is no center of symmetry there is also no plane of the symmetry which is given there plane of symmetry that means if i am placing plane here so if we place there one plane uh, for example if i am placing there one plane so there is one plane i am put in the structure so if we observe there is a uh, if there is a plane of symmetry then at one side similar structure on other side there is also similar structure let's we check here oo at one side another side there is a oo that is the oxygen oxygen uh, carbon carbon ch ch carbon carbon these are the similar <coughs> okay so there is a uh, ch3 and there is a cs3 uh, c5h5 <coughs> sorry c5h5 and c6h5 that means there is a plane of the symmetry which is present here if there is a plane of symmetry then that is optically uh, inactive okay so that is about the st structure which is given there but in this structure these are not exactly in the plane so this cs3 and c c c5h5 these are not exactly in the plane these are maybe the above the plane these are maybe the below the plane so that's why there is no plane of the symmetry which is present there and so that's why these are the optically uh, active structures so this is about the structures which are the given there in the tetrahedral structure which point wires in there tetrahedral structure geometric lysism which is not possible there why geometric lysism which is not possible there because uh, we can't be distinguish here cis and trans form in case of the tetrahedral structure second that is optical lysism that is also not possible here only possible in exceptional cases if four ligands are the different so in this case optical isomerism which is a possible there that means since and uh, sorry d form and l form which are the present there and these are the uh, this is the one of the example which is given there which is optically active this is also example of the optically active isomerism which is the given there that means tetrahedral structure there is no geometric isomerism and there is no optical isomerism also only exceptional case that is the if four different ligands which are the attached to the central meter uh, isomerism in the square planar complex which is given there isomerism in the square planar complex square planar complex which are the shows geometric isomerism uh, several geometric isomerism which are the occurs in the complexes uh, but there are some examples which are the given there so these complexes which can't be shows here geometric lysimism that means m a 4 that means similar ligands which are the attached to the central metal that means similar ligand so that's why we can't be distinguished here cis and trans form also in case of the m a 3 b we can't be also uh, distinguished here cis and trans form in the second one uh, next one that is the m a b 3 that means a type one ligand and b type there are three ligands in this case also we can be explained here geometric lysimism that means these are does not show geometric lysimism uh, so that's why uh, uh, these isomers which are the uh, uh, which are can't be uh, shows their geometric lysimism there are some uh, examples which are the given there uh, general formula which are the given there this shows uh, their geometric lysimism m a 2 b 2 which shows geometric lysimism m a 2 b c which also shows geometric lysimism m a b c d that also shows geometrical isomerism that means in this case uh, we can <coughs> easily explain here c sign transform c sign transform means geometric lysimism we can be better explained here in this case but in this case that is a a m a 4 a 3 b uh, m a b 3 in this case we can't be explained here geometric lysimism 
only in this case we can explain here geometrical isomerism this is about the next one page which is given there we are doing study here uh, geometrical isomerism and optical isomerism which are the possible here in case of the sphere planar complexes so this is the next one type which is given there in this case uh, geometrical isomerism which is possible there m a2 b2 a2 means similar type of the a ligands there are two and similar type of b ligands these are also two so this is the one of the best example which is given there if i am considered there this is the a ammonia which is a a type and b2 means this is the chlorine so that that means a type there are two ligands b type these are the two ligands and platinum which is a metal so uh, this is the example which is a suitable for the m a2 b2 type complex which shows geometric isomerism uh, this is a cis form which is given there why cis form because similar type of the ligands which are the similar type of the ligands uh, so this is the chlorine this is the chlorine similar type of the ligands which are exactly on the same side you can observe here these are the similar type of the ligands these are on the same side so this is cis form also at another side similar type of the ligands these are also on the same side so this is the cis Uh, geometrical isomerism which is possible here in the second one example you can observe there similar type of the ligands which are the similar type of the ligands this one chlorine and chlorine these are the similar type of the ligands which are the exactly opposite to each other so similar type of the ligands which are the opposite to the each other this ammonia which is also similar type of the ligands which is opposite to the each other that means this is a trans form that means cis and trans these are the isomers which are the possible here that means geometrical isomerism possible in case of the m a2 b2 second one which is which is given there in the second one you can observe there what is the second one this is the first one we are seeing there now second one so this is the second one that is the m a2 b c type complex in this a type similar type of ligand there are two uh, and b and c that means these are the different ligands <coughs> so this is the example which is given there m means platinum a2 ammonia these are the a2 these are the similar type of the ligands b that means if you are consider this is the b which is a chlorine and c that means ammonia that means similar type of the ligands if if you observe in this structure you can observe there uh, in this structure if i am passing there one plane Uh, from this structure then you can observe there similar type of ligands these are on the same side so that's why this is a cis form uh, doesn't matter these are the different uh, ligands which are that is there but if at one side similar ligands which are the present then which is classified with a cis form let's we check here next one uh, structure which is given there so if we are put up there uh, one plane so you can observe there similar type of the ligands which are the similar type of the ligands these are the ammonia these are exactly opposite to the each other so that's why which is a trans form trans form uh, don't consider here this chlorine and no2 if similar type of the ligands these are the opposite side then that, that is a trans form that means which points were seen there m a2 b2 which shows geometrical isomerism and m a2 b c which also shows geometric isomerism now what is about the optical isomerism optical isomerism which is not possible here in case of the first one structure and also in case of the second one structure also optical isomerism okay optical isomerism which is not possible here in the first one and also uh, second one example optical isomerism optical isomerism which is not possible here in first structure and also in case of the second structure optical isomerism which is also not possible here why this is not possible here if we observe this structure uh, if we imagine the structure there is a plane of the symmetry which is present here all these four structures you can observe there in all these four structure there is a plane of symmetry why there is a plane of the symmetry because at each corner these are the group which are the present here if i am passing exactly uh, in the plane there is a if i am passing there one plane across of this plane, uh, these groups if we cut this all these group exactly in the plane that means half chlorine above half chlorine below 
that means which is get matches so this half chlorine above the plane half chlorine below the plane that is a similar ammonia which cut into the half below the plane half cut into the above the plane that is similar this ammonia cut half above the plane ammonia half cut below the plane that means which shows plane of the symmetry also this is happen in this second one structure also third one structure also and fourth one structure also that means 100% there is a plane of the symmetry which is a present in the square planar structures square, square planar structure always which shows plane of the symmetry that means whatever all groups which are the different if all groups which are the different there is no matter whatever which shows plane of the symmetry why if you are passing plane from the square planar structure then each each ligand which cut into the half so that's why uh, there is a plane of the symmetry which is present there and that's why uh, all planes pl square planar structure which optically inactive there are also some exceptional cases which are the given there okay now what is about this structure there is a uh, cis ion transform which is a possible here in this case so these three isomers which are the possible here which is given there m a b c d m a b c d that means m is the metal a b c d these are the ligands which are the given there all ligands these are the different so all these ligands which are the different here a cis and trans isomerism in this complex which are the compound by the some experimental methods uh, substitution of the uh, symmetrical or unsymmetrical by dentates, measurement of the dipole moments and I spectra. So these are the three factors if we observe uh, here experimentally then we can easily determine here there is a cis form or trans form. Substitution of the symmetrical or unsymmetrical by dentate, second Kutla point angular measurement of the dipole moment and third one that is a IR spectroscopy. So all these things which determine there is a presence of the cis form or there is a presence of the transform. So these are the best way for the determination of the geometrical isomerism. Okay. okay. This is the next page which is given there. So, so in this uh, structure you can observe there. If there is a substitution possible here then that is the presence of the cis and transform. Substitution which is a possible here only in case of the cis structure. So this is a cis structure which is given there. In that means ethylene diamine which is given there. Substitution possible here, that means there is a cis form which is present there. So this is the second one also example which is given there. Uh, uh, Glacinato which is also we can use there for the substitution reaction. Then we can easily identify there is a cis form which is present here. That means if there is a cis form, then that is a uh, substitution reaction which is possible here. Substitution means we are just replacing these ligands from the another ligands. So this is the these are the products which are the given there which shows substitution reaction. Next one which is given there measurement of the dipole moments. Uh, dipole moments which is the present here in case of the cis form but dipole moment which is a zero in case of the uh, trans form which is given there. So uh, square planar structures which are the optically if satisfied some following requirements. Which are the requirements which are the given there. Complex of the molecule must be asymmetrical there is no plane of the symmetry already i have told you if there is no plane of the symmetry then given structure which is a optical active uh, so in which in such a way is that part one side of the mirror image of the another side molecule which is a possess plane of the symmetry which is a optically active optically inactive that means if there is a plane of the symmetry then that is optically inactive structure let me share here next one page two structure so this this is the last one structure which is optically active. This is the structure of the mesosteel bean or isobutylene diamine platinum uh, 2 which is oxidation state which is given there. Which is the optical active structure. This is a square planar structure. In square planar structure which is optically active structure. Why? Because if we pass plane from the given structure then similar groups these are on the same side. But at opposite side there is a CS3 and CS3. That means uh, if I am cut this molecule then we can't be a separate equal uh, separation we are not possible here that means similar group we are not getting to the opposite side because at one side there is a C6H5 C6H5 but opposite side there is a H that means which shows optically active structure because there is no uh, plane of the symmetry which is a possible here 